my hope that things will be better in the future, depending on how political situation develops. There's, uh, if, the, if, the South, if the South is able to find the unity attractive, which means they, they would be able to gain the trust of the northerners and vice versa. Then, and if both, both regions are developed equally, we mean north is not developed any better than the south, and the south is not developed any better than the north. And the southerners see that actually things have changed, and, and they have changed in a tangible way. They will be able to find relative peace within the United Sudan, and that's a possibility. But if things don't change in any, uh, good way that the southerners will see they will not be able to they will not be able probably to find that this is a good situation for them in the future to remain part of the Sudan and they might decide to find relative peace by becoming a different country and getting more close to East Africa which is more brother which is like their own brothers in the south of them than trying to uh, become part of the North, which is culturally tend to orient itself toward the Arab world. And that is not finding any common ground in the South. And the Southerners are going to face tough choices, but whatever the decision is, it will, be, it will depend on if it better them, if it better their future. And that's how I see things evolving. That's my hope, yeah. I plan to go back, uh, although that depends on a number of factors. If it is still chaotic, I might stick around in the U.S. <laughs> but if it, is far, if it is peaceful and the situation requires people who are knowledgeable about some issues to go and help in development, it would be my pleasure to do so and to go back and help in any way. But that's, that's a heavy situation. And I hope yeah, it will change in one way or the other.